Hi brothers and sisters, I hope you're doing well. So I'm doing so much better now. All glory to God, Jesus. And thank you so much to all of you that prayed for me. I really appreciate it. And I really feel like the prayers worked. And I feel like there's a wave of protection over me now because I'm not feeling sick anymore. And um, while I was in the hospital, my mom came by and she cleaned my apartment uh, for a few hours with uh, mold spray. And um, I'm also being very careful now not to eat or drink anything that's exposed to the air for too long. And uh, so I, I don't really feel like the molds affect me right now. And I'm also hiring uh, professionals to come by my house in a couple weeks to clean my truck and my apartment with heavy duty uh, chemicals, which are better than what I was gonna use. And so hopefully that will kill most of the mold. And um, so, so everything's going good now. And um, I was in the hospital um, last weekend from the 16th till the 19th on Monday. And uh, it, it wasn't very fun to say the least. <laughs> um, it was uh, it was pretty boring. Like I was in the psychiatric unit in the emergency room, which is just a small room, and uh, I was there with about four or five other people at a time, and um, uh, there was there was a lot of traumatic things going on. People were like screaming, and and uh, it was. It was just not not a great place to be, and I'm just so grateful to be out of there. And um, I uh, I also met a, a girl around my age that just got divorced, and she came in like a few hours after I came in on Friday, and we we spent a lot of hours talking and watching motocross together on my phone, and we plan on seeing each other soon, and. I also met another friend, uh, his name's Brad, and uh, he's he's got the same interests as me. He likes motocross and, and biking and stuff. And so I met two new friends, which is good. And uh, um, the only downside to being in the hospital was that uh, they forced me to take another antipsychotic medication. So I took it for a couple of days and um, I didn't like it because it made me feel high and the name of the medication is Seroquel. Excuse me. And um, the street name for it is called ba Baby Heroin. And um, I, I just didn't want to take it. So uh, I stopped taking it as soon as I got out of the hospital. And all week I've just been feeling really tired. Um, but I'm feeling much better now. And... Um, uh, what else? Um, and I really feel like it was a good thing that I went to the hospital because I asked my dad before I, I went to the hospital if he could help me move to another apartment or help me clean the apartment with a professional and he said no. But now that I've gone to the hospital, um, he knows how serious it is and um, that's why he's agreed to help me pay for the professional to come by my house and clean my truck and apartment. So it, it kind of all worked out. And I really feel like God Jesus was guiding me the entire time. And um, I'm just feeling so much happier now and grateful to, to be out of there. And um, I also got my, my jobs back. I talked to my bosses and they uh, they allowed me to come back. So. I'm working again and um, and uh, yeah I I think that the mold like I don't think I'll be able to like 100% kill the mold in my apartment and truck but um, I think that it will like I feel like the way it is now that I will last it will last like or it won't it won't come back for at least a few months or a year or so and um, and, uh, I'm not expecting for, uh, us to be here next year, so it's, uh, everything's going, everything's working out right now, 
and um, I've also been reading what's been going on in the news with uh, Russia and Ukraine and um, there was uh, the Wagner group that um, that was on the news um, they have uh, backed down in their coup attempt and they signed a ceasefire and um, Um, and Lindsey Graham, uh, the senator, uh, he, uh, he said, um, I think it was last week or the week before that the Russian military is about to have Holy Hell released on them. And, uh, the Kremlin, uh, s spokesman said Graham brought shame to the United States. And, um... Steve, Stephen Ben Benoon from Israeli News Live um, said that uh, Putin is not coming back into power in 2024. And Putin even said uh, that he is, hasn't decided yet if he's coming back. And I strongly believe that uh, global nuclear war will happen while Putin is in power. Um, and also next year, uh, Biden is uh, going to be uh, probably voted out of office. And um, I also believe that uh, Biden will be president um, when global nuclear war happens. So, um, so I pretty much think that 2023 is the year of the rapture. And... Um, um, and so right now, um, Russia is being like backed into a corner and, um, and last year on September, 2022, uh, Putin said in a rare meeting that he would risk nuclear conflict to avoid an embarrassing military defeat. And, um, so it, it seems like uh like Ukraine is is slowly winning starting to win and and Putin is is uh being backed into a corner and they're just poking the bear and eventually the bear is going to lash out and um Putin even said that he he would uh um uh, or even he he's he, Putin has uh said nuclear threats and so I really don't think that there's much time left. And, um, and also, uh, Stephen Ben Benoon from Israeli News Live said that, uh, a former Navy SEAL said that there will be a battle of the reptilians and gray aliens here on earth in the not too distant future. And I think that's happening right now because of the, uh, what's going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine and the the imminence of global nuclear war. Because uh, when uh, Nagasaki and Fukushima happened, um, right after there was a lot of uh, um, UFOs in the sky and um, I think they're either trying to prevent it from happening or, or uh, Maybe the reptilians want it to happen, and um, so um, I'm watching for the rapture um, before the fall um, because um, the uh, the the UN is having a meeting in September eighteenth to twenty second, I believe, and. Also after that, uh, there will be the, uh, um, the, uh, the U S, uh, legislative, legislative, uh, elections. And, um, I strongly believe that the rapture and global nuclear war will happen, uh, before, um, or when, when, uh, the world leaders are not preoccupied in, in, uh, meetings or events. So I'm watching pretty much just the summer right now, and I'm first watching um, 
the full moon on July 1st to 4th, on the 4th of July. And um, I'll be wa after that, I'll be watching the 9th of Av, of, uh, or T Tisha B'Av, on July 26th and 27th. And um, I'll also be watching the new moon on July 17th and August 16th and the crescent moons um, and the other full moon on July 31st to August 2nd, which is Tuba of the holiday of love. And ever since, um, ever since we passed Passover on uh, April 6th, excuse me, um, I, I, I looked forward in the calendar on, um, and, uh, I saw that, um, there was a full moon on a Thursday at the end of, uh, August and it's a blue moon. And pretty much since then, I, be I believe that the rapture will happen then. And I, I didn't want to tell you guys cause it was so far away, but now we're only two months away and, and, uh, um, uh, so, um, and also the, the blue full moon on August 31st to September 1st will be a uh, true to be of because the calendar is off by one month because of the constellations and barley harvest. And um, I also had my first and only vision of a full moon at the end, at the last week of August in 2020. And um, many have had dreams or visions of uh, two full moons because um, the, the, the blue moon is uh, the second full moon in August. And um, a few have had rapture dreams that took place in the end of summer. And, um, um, I also, I can also see the rapture and global nuclear war happening, um, at the end of summer because, um, I, I think that, um, like the world leaders are also thinking about the non-believers that have have worked all all winter and gone to school and they look forward to summer and I think that I think that they would allow us to have one last summer to enjoy before um, before we go home and. Um, also, Stephen Ben Benoon uh, from Israeli News Live said that uh, there is fear of uh, Putin striking at the end of summer or fall. So that could be a major sign that will happen at the end of summer. And um, yeah, I'll, I'm definitely going to upload another video um, in a couple weeks or so if, there's, if I see anything else come up. Um, and, um, I just want to say that, uh, um, we, uh, we will not experience any pain during the rapture or global nuclear war, um, because I've, I've experienced a near death experience and I felt zero pain. And I've also listened to rapture dreams. Um, and in, in the rapture dreams, uh, they said that they, they felt total peace and love and bliss and felt zero pain. And, um, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross and was buried and rose from the grave on the third day. And whoever believes in him shall be saved. And God, Jesus loves you all unconditionally, like as if you're the only person in the universe and um i can't wait to see you guys in heaven soon and i'll upload another video in a couple weeks or so and i love you all god bless